WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. And currently, we have a sea of red out there. All the U.S. indices trading the downside. All the sectors with inside the S&P 500 doing the same. You've got the Dow down 137 points. The S&P up 14. NASDAQ 153. Russell's down 6. Semis are off 21. Gold is off 7 bucks. Silver's off a nickel. Lights recruit back 11 cents. Natural gas is off a nickel. And the 30 Treasury printed out 134.13. That is up 11 ticks. Let's try to figure out what all that means by taking a look at that nine panel market update chart. We've got a confirmed sell the D point pattern. This is in the ES mini. That confirmed uh, two days ago when we had that uh, bearish engulfing key reversal bar out there. Now we've got a new profile. Yesterday we had one that was attempting to form. Now it's solid. Support 4076, uh, resistance 4071. I would expect and anticipate that the ES Mini will make its way down to that 4076 level. However, maybe it don't. Maybe it won't. Why? Because the spot volatility is still below its 50-day exponential moving average. The spot is at 2093. I'm sorry, the, the 50 days at 2093, the spot volatile index at 1934. You've still got that A to B equals CD to the upside inside the NQ. That pattern is still in place, but there is a new profile that did form yesterday. If price closed below 13.062, we could see a move down to the 12.705 level. U.S. dollar index confirmed a buy the D point pattern yesterday, created that uh, bullish dark cloud cover. Yeah, I'll even though you don't see the A to B equals CD uh, drawn there, it's there. And it has a new profile now. This new profile attempting to form a support at 101.25, resistance 102.58. Odds would favor close above 101.75. Would I go ahead and suggest that the U.S. dollar next will go tackle that 102.58 level. Goldilocks has an A to B equals CD to the upside. It's got a couple of them. And it's got a new profile that is attempting to form that is below price. That is a bullish signal. Silver, which completed a TD9 count top yesterday, is also trying to form a new profile. Again, we won't get confirmation of this now until Monday, Sunday, actually. But right now, the message is that's so we're really neutral here. You got a you got a top in silver, price above a new profile that's attempting to form out there. We're going to go with the neutral call. Lights we crude has got a TD nine count top. It just led to a sideways move, but also a new profile attempting to form, which is below price again. Another bullish signal out there, and that natural gas contract it needs to close above twenty one ninety. We want that. Otherwise, natural gas is subject to fail. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show. But if you have to start your Thursday, please have a terrific one. Remember, tomorrow's a holiday, and we'll be back with you on Monday. Take care, folks.